Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome back to my channel for another game of Food Strip. We're going to go live in a moment, and it's your chance to actually interact with the audience. Subscriber mode is switched off, so if you would like to subscribe, please do so. What are we going to be doing today? Well, we're going to be ending off the Valentine's event. We've got some prizes still to give out from that one. I'm afraid my health condition recently hasn't always allowed me to be 100% when I need it to be. Uh, but that's besides the point, push that to the side. Now we're also going to be looking at the Aussie event that's up and coming as well. So hopefully you will all enjoy that as much as I will do. Right, but let's get right on into the game and bring your host into the stream as well. So, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Right, it's Fushi everybody and the Aussie event is about to start. So we're going to go out into the outbook. So goodbye Valentine's, hello bugs in the trees. Right, uh, Adam and Joel, I see you both in the chat as well. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Nice to see you here as well. <coughs> but let's get playing. Abril, good morning, my darling. Right, go and click that one first of all, and let's see what the koala is going to be giving us. We got meats, we got seafood, we got some tokens as well. Token wise, I don't think I've got that many left. I used a load in the last one. Got an excessive amount of the melon tokens, but it's those little green ones that are the more important ones. Let's see, do we have any golds? We do, and there's some brand new items down here that I've never made. So it's going to be interesting to start producing some of these goods already. Let's see if we can get two of those on the go to start with. First time to do some of these. Meats we've had previously. That one's not such an issue. But as you can see, we're going to be using this machine a lot for a lot of things that happen within the game. Vegemite on toast. Oh, I like Vegemite. And again, more products that are the same thing. So, very intensive use of the Moped Merchant for this event. Unless, of course, you want to be spending your gems. But I spent all my gems on speeding up. Or at least I think so. Or opening up Area, so I don't have those available, but uh, no worries. Uh, unless, of course, my gems have disappeared and I made a mistake somewhere. I don't know. <coughs> we'll see. No worries. Greg, good morning as well. And uh, Abril said, oh, wow, Portugal. Yes, hello, Portugal. Okay, go collect that one as well. What do you got down there? We're going to dismiss the truck because that's the least of my priorities at the moment. We'll spin the daily reward on that one and see what happens. If I get something wonderful, it's going to be a saw. Yep, yeah, that's good. Stop, 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 stop. Saw or cookie would have been nice. Oh, the times two would be even better. We take the fish that are down there, get the fish back up and loaded again. Right, we've got loads of people down here. I've already claimed most of my prizes. Uh, as you can see, 79, 50, and 13. So what can we collect down here? Anything useful? 79. I've done loads of goodies already. Uh, you can see I was quite busy down there with collecting items. Barbara, hello as well, by the way. <coughs> So many, 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 many things purchased. All right, 79, 50, and 13. Okay, I could go with three saws. That'd be nice. There's some coins down there, some more expansion materials. Oh, I needed one more for that. 50 for the gloves, okay. Uh, 30 and 17, no, nope, don't need, don't need. Okay, 120, no, nope. 30, 15. Oh, that's a shame, wrong balance. 41, 10, no. Nope. 15 and 65, no. Nope. 100 on that one, so not really anything there I can claim. Weekly deal. Oh, I needed one more to claim the decoration. That is a shame. Lisa, hello as well, by the way. Right, what else? Did I claim any prizes here? I did, but they're all claimed and written elsewhere now. One more for the two blues, which would have been nice. Okay, gloves there for 30. That's only two gloves. That's okay, I suppose. I can do two gloves and two saws. That would be nice. Daily deal. Nothing really much down there I want. So we go back to the weekly deal. We do 30 on the gloves. <coughs> and we do 30 on the saw. So two and two is always nice. Daily deals. I don't think there's anything I can get down there. I need 20 for the next one. Don't have. So 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Anything for 50 and 10. Yeah, 60 and 10. 35, 40 and 10. Oh, we can do a green one. That'll do. I'll take one of those. There we go. I'm a happy man. 
we spent we got some resources we've now got a green one which is nice as well so that is good that pleases me greatly okay nothing requested down there four days and so many hours we've only got another one hour to go so yes Lisa hello as well and welcome 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 by the way okay right you can ignore that for the moment it's making the bread which is not much more I can do on that one until the resources are ready so we can just push that to the side for this time being we've got a lot of veggie mites down there to produce and the bread is definitely one I want to be speeding up later from the look of it so that's going to be fun as an activity to do well there's one bread we need Vegemite down there. So Vegemite is six minutes to produce and we need three of those. Mm -hmm. Possibly we can do this, possibly. But we need more. Well, the odds on making this one as a first order, nigh on impossible. I got the gold bot, the gold sheet, the black rooster and some upgrade stuff. Yeah, I got the roosters as well. So I have all of the roosters, which I'm very satisfied with. Uh, I enjoyed uh, collecting those, and um, I was very happy to be able to pick those up and then uh, get those as well. So it's nice when you can grab a few pieces that you want for your collection. So very, very cool indeed. <coughs> very happy. I was really happy. Um, Kim says hello to everybody. Hello, Kim, as well. Yeah, my Valentine's design, I was pleased. Didn't finish everything, though, because I ran out of time and got busy. Plus, with the Wi-Fi expiring, it wasn't the best thing for me in the world. But I got quite a few of the animals as well. Yeah, so I'm very pleased on that side. They have most of the puppies down there, or the dogs. I even picked up some of the fairies as well. Daisy, Lilac, Poppy, Leaf, and the old fairy blue. Hence, that's why my gems have all gone. Yeah, I don't think they're there anymore. They've actually left, which is a shame. So we go take some more tokens. There we go, another green. And there's all my blues done like that. There we go. Right, I didn't even get any blues in the last uh, set of uh, chef tasks. Um, when you're busy, 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 you have to push the games to the side that you can't play. So it was a no-no on that side for me. But oh well, not much I can do until later. Going to need bread for everything, it seems. Well, this is going to be a challenge. It really, really is. <laughs> this is going to be interesting to do. It really is. Oh, my God. Well, let's get some eggs on the go. And start building up my resources one more time. And start getting rid of some of these items that are taking up space. And then selling those as well. And I do believe my storage is full up again. What's my storage full up with, I wonder? Let's have a look. <coughs> I haven't ever played the game anymore, but I still have it in case I want to get back into it again. Yeah, I want the new kitty pet, says Lisa. Hmm. Uh, that's okay, Kim. As long as you're not in a team, that is the key thing. If you're in the team, please lead them just so they know. Or if you have your own team, that's fine anyway. But yes... So what do I have an excessive amount of? I've got 19 spaghettis. I think I'm going to get rid of some of those. That will reduce my storage down quite a bit. There we go. Uh, what else do I have an excessive amount of? There we go. Let me get rid of some of the French bread. I don't mind doing that for the moment. I just hope I don't need it, but oh well. And I think that's a more balanced option now, don't you? So some basic items down there, which is good. I could sell those in a moment if I wanted to. Still got a lot of pastas, so we'll do a little bit more. Pastas, extra cash. There we go. I'm now a little bit empty on my storage, which is better. Yes. Okay, I can start producing and then redecorating. <coughs> Kim said, I'm going to start getting more into the game again. I think I'm going to start my own club, leave the one I'm in and start my own. That's probably the best thing. If you can't play as much as you would like to, you know, sometimes restarting your own is definitely a better option. <laughs> yes. 
sometimes I think about, should I start my own club? But then I realize I'm in my own club. And I just wish I was there more often. That's the key thing. All right, now, by the way, because we've still got some prizes to give away from last time, I still have the pet to give away from last week and the gold coins and the voucher packs. So we do those ones today. Um, and then maybe one of the main items for this event as well. So I'm kind of playing a little bit on the catch up at the moment. Um, so apologies for that. But we will get it done. We will get it done. Right, let's go down on that side. And take a few more of those. Get some potatoes in there as well. That's good. They've got the Vegemite on toast. I'd love to have some Vegemite now. I really would. I'd also like to have some Australian pie and seafood platter. But my question is, where are the purple burgers? Because none of these items were actually on the list of Aussie food when we looked at it the other day. So these are not popular food items in Australia according to the CNN information site for the best food in Australia so yes <coughs> very strange indeed indeed now, money-wise, I think I'm going to be spending quite a bit of my coins. There's some brand new homestead tables, which I like. But I've already got eight of those in inventory, so I don't have to buy those. Door-wise, there's the double doors, which do look good. And I've got 21 bronzes, so there's a strong possibility I might spend there. There's new fencing. Oh, I like that fencing. I really do. I think that fencing is going to be very nice indeed. Indeed, you've got the homestead wall as well. The animal art wall, not so care much about. I've already got those in the same with the outback wall. But I might get more of the homestead wall. But the fencing is definitely a must for me this time. The Aussie double windows, again, very nice to go with the doors. I kind of like both of those and their bronzes, which I didn't have a lot of last time. Uh, for the trees and decoration okay we've got the grass tree which is very new down here and that looks very unusual indeed so i might grab a few of those the road signs eucalyptus tree outback shrubs not interested in the veranda i want more of those the jeep is okay the opera house no point the warata looks interesting i like the Billabong. Uh, that one actually looks good and I definitely want to get one of those. So that looks like a nice uh, interesting deco piece to add down indeed. For the indoor decoration there's the kangaroo teddy which I can purchase and I've got the giant koala teddy already. So I'm so tempted to actually get that one as well. Right. On the special decoration, there's the crocodile pet. Oh, I want that one. I've already got the kangaroo. Uh, and for the main items, there's nothing really down there. However, there might be a few pieces that you want to claim if you win the prizes. And floor pieces, the homestead tile and the red sand tile, I already have. So there's a few new deco items and a lot that I've already got, which I am pleased about. So yes, indeed. Yes, 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 yes. Clothing wise, what have we got for the staff? Let's have a look. So we've got some nice cork hats. There's a koala top there, which is a bronze piece down there, which looks interesting. Uh, is that all they've really got? We need something that's more outbacky, don't we? That would be more adventuresome. What else can I use? Hmm. <coughs> Need something green or countryside, I think would be much better. Tully, hello as well, by the way. Right, give me something adventuresome for her. Something that she can go out into the wild. What have we got? What have we got? There's nothing there. No. How could they? Where is it? Nothing. No, no, no. Cowboy's not good. We need something that's good for being outside in the countryside. Uh, no, 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 no. Seriously? Nothing at all? That doesn't seem right. I thought I had some pieces. Ah, oh, no, here we go. That's better. That'll do nicely. So she's got a nice little set of bottoms there, or tops there. Let's find the bottoms. Mm hmm. What would be good as a good bottom on this one? Mm, that could work nicely. Uh, 
Green pants, maybe, but on the camouflage side, there we go. Or oh, I could go with the shorts, that would work as well. Mm. We'll give her some shorts, she looks good in shorts. There we go, lovely. All right, let's change the tops again. Uh, everybody's saying hello to each other. Sweet peas, good morning as well, my darling. How are you? All right, sliding back over. We've got to go all the way to the end. Somebody didn't think about this very well in relation to adjusting the pieces to each other. She wants to show her legs this one, so we're going to go with some nice shorts. There we go. Perfect. Good match down there. Alright, next one. So, what do we want? An Aussie chef, maybe, or maybe something a little different. <coughs> yeah, I think that'd be good. The macho ness of the man as he's cooking up a storm for the family. Yeah. There we go, perfect. Oh, I like that. Maybe change his hat though. Let's have a shifty. Now it's summertime in Australia at the moment, so winter here, summer there. You know, it's all about the barbecues and relaxing outside. Let's see if we can find something. Maybe a nice little hat to keep his head warm as well could work. What are my choices? I think I like that one back there. There we go. Perfect. I need to go right now. Bye, everyone says, Joel, no problems. Thank you for joining and thank you for being here. I need my own club. If anyone wants to search the club and climb is uh, crazy looking chest, my name is Pug Treats. Okay. Kim's getting back into the game and she's created her own club, everybody, if you are interested in joining. We'll take some more corks down there. Uh, I think he's going to look good with a panda top, but should I do it or not? Mm. It's not panda koala. No, I don't like it. Okay. What else have we got? Let's have a think. Anything else for outside? That could work. That's about right. But then again, the hat doesn't match then, does it? Mm-hmm. Bottoms. Bottoms, 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 bottoms. Hmm, could have a bit of a problem here. That's about the only ones that go, but I don't want that. Mm hmm. Shorts would be good. There we go. I've now dressed up my people. I think that I will change her to hat and him with no hat. So, what do we need? I think no hat will be best on this dude. Maybe a baseball cap? No. No, 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 no. No. He's more of an explorer, isn't he? So, what else? I think bald is best. There we go. Remove hat and then put the hat back onto her. There we go. That's better. I think that's better. My staff are dumb. Uh, what have we got down here? Sweet Pea said, hello, Kim. Here's me. Goody said, bye, Joel. And everyone's saying goodbye, Joel. That's nice. I like it when you say goodbye to each other. That is good. Neat. Keep doing these. We can get another one on the go. That's six minutes down there. Okay, it's going to be impossible for this. 
Well, very challenging indeed. So very challenging. We need two more of those for, oh God. So no, 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 no. Too much time, too much time. Impossible. <coughs> I hate that when that happens. They make my task so difficult, they really do. Okay, lovely. All right, Abril says hello. All right, I need to start putting my Valentine's decoration away, don't I? Now, do I already have an empty space one down there? I don't. So, I've still got my cowboy one down there, which is from last time, which I did enjoy. Maybe I could use the same thing. I can just modify this into an Outback style design. That could work. That could work. Maybe I should do that. Hmm. Well, first things first, let's shift those back out the way. Hang on. First things first. Yes, let's shift those out the way. There we go. And what I could do is start bringing my apple trees back out for the moment. So, one, two, three, four, five. Put that one back into storage, put that back into storage. Okay, put that back into storage too. Get rid of that one, get rid of that one. Take the toilet out for the moment. We can modify this design, couldn't we? That would work very well. Let's bring my lemon trees out as well. There we go, make it a bit more interesting for me. Yeah, bring some of these out as well, leaving a bit of a path piece in there, I think, as well. Not that I'm really much interested in that path piece. A few more trees down there as well. There we go. I think I need more of those, definitely, but they're already here, so I can shift those over. Yeah, I might take away the mine star, but we'll leave that there for the moment. Yeah, maybe I need to change it. <laughs> Put that there, that there, that there, and that there. Yeah, take away the roosters, which I don't need anymore, so they can go back into storage. There's another big apple tree over there, which we can bring back into this area here, maybe. Yes, I can. Perfect. And I can bring out the smaller trees and bushes. Okay, just place those out for the moment. Then bring out the other ones. Yeah. And now we can bring out the smaller ones. Mm -hmm. <coughs> then the berry bushes. There we go. Let's see what I've got. And then the strawberry bushes. Okay, now we can save that. And then we've got something we can work with. Yes, I like that. Uh, Ricky, are you feeling better? No, Abril. Uh, my internal system is not the best in the world at the moment. It's still causing me a lot of problems. And I do have a lot. I, I need to get it fixed. So I can... St I'm okay enough to be doing what I need to be doing uh, but at the moment uh, my guts are still not the best so okay take away those I can now keep those pieces in there take away the samurai take away the big trees yeah we got to change those for the more suitable trees for this theme which should be fine in a moment. Keep those there as they are for the moment. Take away the samurai, take away the samurai. Uh, 
handy. The toilet there for the moment. Take away the samurai again, and we'd lose these big trees. Let's see how that goes. Okay, and take away the samurai again. We need to lose the tables because it's the wrong theme. And then I can bring out these other tables, which is good. So the homestead ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. That's nice. Right, so we hear that. What's going on? Ah, internal bleeding, Abro. Internal bleeding. So, um, I have internal bleeding, which is not comfortable. It's causing me a lot of issues. Right, now we've got those three up and running, which is good. Now we need to do three more of these. So one, one, two, three, that's those done. And then we can start doing the meats, which is the herbs. So get some more herbs on the go. We might do it. We'll see. 15 minutes. <coughs> mm -hmm. It's a problem I've had for years. Um... It's the problem I noticed years ago when I was in my 30s and I went to the hospital about it and I had a, a medical checkup. And when they checked me out, uh, they found out that I had uh, IBS, uh, which is irritable bowel syndrome. Um, I also have uh, an enlarged stomach as well, which doesn't help. Um, and they found lumps on my intestinal tract. Uh, I polyps. Uh, they removed the polyps and there were some very large ones there. One of them was what they call like a stage three. Uh, stage four is cancer. So if I hadn't have gone in my 30s to get it looked at, I probably wouldn't be here now. Yeah. And every year after that, I had to go back and get re-examined and they removed it. But the problem of the bleeding over the years hasn't gone away. Uh, and that still persists even today. Uh, but sometimes it's worse than it normally is. And recently it's been really, really bad. So it's very uncomfortable. So <clears throat> it's not good. Ricky, could you please describe how to do decorate and blending and is it possible to unblend them afterwards? Uh, yes, it is, Greg. Actually, I can show you in a second. Hang on. I've got some decorating to do with this one, so it'll be perfect. Mm. So, okay, let me go get rid of some of these now that are dead. What else? Da -da -da -da. I think we're good on that side for the moment. Accept that one, take the points, there we go, that's out of the way. Alright, how are we going? Still a few more minutes to go. Mmm, sounds painful. It very much is, Sweet Peas, it very much is. Um, it really is. It will probably kill me one day, but it's okay. I've got uh, plenty of insurance in my name, so my family is covered should anything drastic happen. So. Right, now we've got down here those wonderful fence pieces, which I did like the look of. So I'm going to start adding some of these into my design. Uh, and I like the look of these. Hmm, definitely an interesting color. Bit on the plain side though, but then again, maybe I need to change the earth tone. So for the earth tone, we need a more red sandy effect, don't we? So if I just make everything sandy for the moment, and then afterwards I can start tweaking it and bringing it back in. 
É... Tully, Barbara says, sorry I had to leave for a while. Welcome back, it's all good. Yes. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> okay, now it blends in a little bit better, but the rest of the pieces don't really match though. So, red and desert flowers. No, we're going to have to lose these pieces as well, I think. They're not going with this. They clash. It's too Western-like. Yeah, retweak the stones later, I think. So, there we go. Not sure. The fence seems very bare, doesn't it? It's not the the prettiest looking fence design wise. Hmm. Uh, Barbara says I'm barely conscious. Okay. Uh, have you been drinking again, my dear? If so, um, you know you should be sharing. So sharing is caring, as they say. And if you cared, you would share. Hmm. Definitely. Okay. How's it going? Another one done. Now we can get the meat on the go. This might work. So nine minutes. That one will be done in 12 seconds. So we've got four, six, yeah, 7.45. Oh, that's going to be so close. That is going to be so close indeed. Mm. Ricky, you should stream at morning and night so the girls could get your blue tea sleep. Uh, actually, I've not been sleeping well at all. Um, I really have not slept well at all. I think I was awake for many hours last night. Uh, like I said, it's not comfortable sometimes. So. I hardly slept a wink last night. I feel very uh, tired and exhausted. I really do. But... Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah. He knows something we don't. It's 2 a.m. here. I will start covering windows. You don't need to cover your windows. Yeah. There's a whole community that enjoys the views. So uh, why deprive everybody else of the pleasures that uh, we all need to enjoy? Hmm. All right. Well, I can start removing these two gloves. You're kidding me. I need two gloves to remove the pieces of stone. Well, that's not good. That's not acceptable. Wow. That sucks big style. Okay, I wasn't expecting that one. Hmm. <coughs> Did anybody buy my goodies yet? Let's have a look. They're still there. A lot of people need help though. Let's go get something. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, I need the pineapples to be harvested to do that one. So if we go back and collect some pineapples, I can get the points. Do I need an ice cream van? So an ice cream van in Australian Outback. Okay, that's a very unusual mix. Take that. And we'll start putting some of these back away as well. There we go. Alright, do the meat again on that one. We only need one more of those and one meat and we are good. Seven minutes on the clock. Perfect. I like this. <laughs> okay. Some of these things are just not going to hack it, so we'll take these away, and they are 
gone. We're going to lose the fencing too. Let's see if I need to put them back later. So I wish there was an easy way of removing individual pieces a little bit faster. Yeah, this does take a bit of time. Oh well though, once I've finished I'll be happy. I want my basic building and then I can start buying those pieces I want, which is the outside section, yay. I'm going to lose the stable I think as well. Yeah, my stable's not what I want for this one. Perfect. Bye bye wagon. Bye bye that. And I need to show how to do the glitching in a moment. And then to show you, you can unglitch as well. So it's actually very easy. Still busy. Okay, don't do, doesn't do, does it? Okay, you forgot pineapples. I did, yes, that's a point. Yeah, I wonder if they're still there. Yes, I got distracted. I think it was the view in the window, yes. So, are the pineapples still there? Let's have a look. Hey, up. There we go, my darling. Red Knight came along and filled your crates. That was such a wonderful feeling as well. And I even got a nice hand out of it, which was good. So, Quatra Q, let's have a look. I like doing helps. I find helps can be very nice for the rewards sometimes. And it's surprising how many people don't actually do them. So if I see helps coming up, I try to come over... Alright, uh, are you playing on the laptop or PC? I hear clicking. I'm playing on my new iPad. And my new iPad is annoying because it has the camera piece sticking out just there. Uh, and as a result of it sticking out, the surface isn't flat. So because it's not flat, it's a big design issue as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and it means that the iPad is like this, which is then pushing on the power point at the other end, which sometimes disconnects it. And when I tap away on it, it gives us like boom, 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 uh, kind of like hollow feeling. So the Apple designer sucks big style. They at least could have made the body a little bit so it matches up with that the, the camera piece. Even though I need to stick it into a case, but uh, the case I have is nice, but... It doesn't always make it easy for using certain options. Yes. I shouldn't have to buy a cover, though, to fix the problem that uh, Apple have made with their shitty designs. Um, I have a nice cover, so I, I bought this one. Um, it's okay enough, except that this point here is a terrible design. And already it's fraying on the end, and when I look at the hole that's here, the hole doesn't work effectively based on the actual design. So the maker of this one, your design spec is out of sync as well. But uh, for a nice case, it's it's reasonable. And uh, it has this option where I can put my hand on the back when I'm holding, but then that puts strains on my thing anyway. So it's all good. It's all good. Most people put them in cases and then it's flat, but I shouldn't have to do that. I shouldn't have to put it in a case all the time. So. Hmm. Adam said, can you make it so entertaining and buy the ice cream van package and try to play Clash of Clans more views? Well, Clash of Clans is nice, but I'm not going to change over to Clash of Clans when there's so many people already doing it. Um, it costs money to actually buy the frozen dessert caravan or ice cream van. Uh, if I made money on this channel, I would spend money on this channel. Uh, I don't actually make sufficient funding on this channel that I've ever been paid, but I just do this as my hobby. Um, I do this because I actually enjoy it and it is fun. Uh, but I can't afford uh, to spend too much money. So... Uh, 
maybe I need to press more lightly. There we go. I'm pressing more gently now, so the finger's not so strong. You're not hearing the banging effect now. How's that one? Was that soft up? Hmm. Yeah. If you wanted to, Adam, what you could do is make it entertaining by donating uh, 1,110 yen, and you can buy it for me. Yay. And then I could call this the uh, Adam Frozen Dessert Truck. Um, and whenever I place it down there, it could be great. It... Mm -hmm. So how does that sound? Uh, would that be more suitable for you? You could have your own ice cream van. Yeah, it could be wonderful, yes. How much is 110, 1,100 yen in Egyptian pounds? I haven't got a clue, sorry, hang on. Uh, let's find out. So, actually, let's do that first. Hang on. Let me go do my gold order first. So I got three seconds on the clock. Oh, that was so close. If I'd actually gone to the internet uh, to do it, uh, that I would have lost that task. I'm glad I checked first. Three seconds on the board. Oh, my God. Wow. Uh, that was close indeed. That was very, very close. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Abril says, make it harder. Yeah, that's a problem these days, Abril. Uh, soft is probably all I'm going to get now. Uh, making it hard is more damaging. So I think soft is definitely better. Uh, too hard is like a not good. Don't want to break it. So, okay, let's go answer your question. Go to Google. Oh, why did they make it so much more difficult for this now? So, Egyptian pounds to Japanese yen. Let's find out. Right, so, uh, Japanese yen, 1,100, uh, according to the current exchange rate on that one, uh, that is 149 Egyptian pounds, so base 150 pounds, um, that's quite a lot of money, I guess, I, I don't know, in Egyptian pounds, how much is that? So, there we go, that's much better. So, uh, 100 and so, yeah, 110,000 yen. <laughs> Holy smoke. So, what's 100 yen? So, 100 yen, which is the basic coin, is 13 pounds uh, or 14 pounds in Egyptian money. Interesting. So, interesting, interesting, interesting. The exchange rates have not been good in Japan recently. Even like uh, English pounds to yen. Um, it's pretty high at the moment as well. So. Okay, we keep it nice and soft at the moment. Right, in a moment, I need to do a giveaway. So I've got some pieces to give away from the last event. So we get that one done first, I think. And I can start buying my deco that I need on this one. Here we go. Now I can see what I've got to work with. And then I need to answer Greg's question about uh, blending. I think that's enough to keep me going for setting up. There we go. Lovely, 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 lovely. Perfect. How's that? Oh, thank you very much. Right, cute kitty. Hello, by the way, and welcome. All right, now we've had a question about blending, how to do it, and can it be undone later? It can do. It depends on what you want to do. Uh, so, Greg, what would you like me to blend? 
what would you like me to blend within the game? Uh, do you have anything specific that you would like me to blend together just to make it more useful? Um, so is there something that uh, you would like me to adjust within the game to make it easier so you can see what it's like to blend? If so, let me know and I can add that in. But we need to open up Nightbot at the moment so we can do the giveaway. So we click on that one as well. Extend the size on that one so I can see all of the information. We need to log out one more time, then re log back in because we have to activate it every time. Log in with YouTube. <laughs> Logging with my account, there we go, one of the many, then logging with this account as well. Allow that one. Ah. Are there items that can't be blended? I think there are sometimes. No, it's very annoying because sometimes I try to blend something and it just doesn't let me. Uh, so I think there are a few items that don't like to be blended. Right. Now, Adam, you don't have to donate to my stream, by the way. Okay, it's unnecessary. At the end of the day, donations for me are the least important thing. I don't play this for money. I play this because I enjoy the relaxation time. And I like to have a little bit of fun on a Saturday morning. Uh, but it, you don't need to. So don't stress on that one. With uh, Food Street, it can be a very expensive game. It's very money generated. And they have new decoration every time there's a theme and basically every couple of weeks there's a new theme new theme new theme so it's very pay to get in relation to that new deco uh, now I know a lot of people like the deco and it's very nice indeed and there's some cool pieces down there and I have quite a few myself uh, but I don't always want to be buying the deco um, so even though sometimes I would like to get it, but not always. So you don't have to on this time. Uh, are you sure, Barbara? There are some items that I find that uh, things are very annoying to blend. Now, trees, yes, they can be blended together very, very easily. So if I put some trees down here, let me show you. And I'll put some bushes as well, just so you can see what they look like with different patterns. I find for the blending, if you're going to do blending, uh, then use some of the decoration we've got within the game that makes it a little bit easier. So where is it? Uh, so the soda counter is probably the most useful one. Uh, using that soda counter makes it easy to blend in with different pieces. Uh, but it's only a 4x4. Four four. If you're going to do something that's more than 4, then you need to do different pieces. Annoying, yes, impossible, no. Well, if you've got the patience, definitely. It's easy if you've got the patience. But uh, yes. All right. Now, let's give you an example on blending. In fact, we take some tables as well. I can blend the tables in and hide those and reduce them down and uh, modify that. So we do some different blending just to show you. Right. Now, if you are going to blend, one thing I would suggest is just to color the tiles for the item that you are blending. If you do that, it makes it much easier. Uh, also as well, because you've got in the edit mode, uh, when you're blending, go into the edit mode, you're going to need more than the one. So what I like to do is just copy that layout over into here, yes, and then copy that layout over into here, yes. Uh, leave the one in the middle, and I usually set the one on the left side active, and then the right hand side is the one that I'm changing. Um, and then it's much, much easier for me on that as well. So for blending as an example, uh, what I'm going to do is to blend the trees together for the first one, just to show you how it's done. So we go into the edit mode, I click on that one, I copy the active one, so copy that one over into this one here, the main one. That's now copied to the main one, which is this side here. I click on that one, and then basically I edit it. 
Now I'm in the edit mode, and the edit mode sucks. It really does. Okay, we've asked many times, even when I visited, I said this needs to be changed. It needs to match up with the actual game style to make it easier for us to find the pieces because everything is literally stored inside there in just some random order and it is annoying as hell. Well what I've got to do first of all is to put this machine back into storage and there's a reason I chose this one. Now I put that back into storage and it's now empty there as you can see. Now if I come down into storage and then I need to slide down and find the machine again. So as I slide down and I find the machine again, you'll notice that there's a few items that are near the top, some items that are further down. So pay attention to that. The soda counter is not that far from the top, which is one reason why I use it. So I bring that back out again, place it over the square that it was on, but I keep it so it is green. The green is very important. If it's red, you can't blend. If it's green, then you can blend. So that's now there. Now what I'm going to do without pressing the tick mark, I'm going to press the bottom X which is just here. That will now close off that imagery. So the active and the one I'm changing are now different. If I come into the active one and I click on the X, you'll notice that the machine is gone because it's actually kind of like floating above the ground at the moment. And if I press the edit option, what I can then do is drag one of the trees down into that location. And there we go, we got a tree down there. But technically there's a tree in the machine. Now what I've got to do again is copy this design over to the other design. So this is the method I usually use. So I copy this one there, so copy place that there over onto the same place again and it's yes. Now when I open this one up and have a look you'll see the machine is back there. So I need to tap on the machine again, put that back into storage and then go back into storage <clears throat> slide on down to the machine one more time find the machine drag it back out onto where the tree is located and it's still green if I try to put it elsewhere you'll see it's red and it won't let me because those spots are not allowing any blending uh, I'm leaving it floating I close off the X again go back and then basically look at it and you'll see the machine's gone. I go into the edit mode and what I can do is I can bring let's just say a, a smaller plant into there uh, or I can bring a, a tree into there or I can bring a machine into there. So I can start adding things on top of this and on top and on top and on top and on top until it kind of increases like this um, and then basically that disappears. So if I put the bush down there as an example We've got a very nice design that you can have for decorating. Uh, I then click on the button again. I copy that one over, place that one back down there again, and I say yes. I go into that one and edit it. The machine's now back along with the other two pieces. Uh, now, if I click on that one again, it goes to green. I put that back into storage, and it's now gone back into storage. So, uh, and then I come back onto the box like this, slide on down with this section just here. I then bring the soda counter back over onto it like that, so it's floating above that section there. Click on the X button in the bottom hand corner, uh, and then come back to the main one again. And let's just say I find, uh, mm -mm, what am I gonna use in this case? What can I use? What can I use? Actually, let's go and see if there's any nice new decoration. I might want to place something down into it. So I'm going to put my giant koala bear into the bushes as well. And then he's going to sit there and enjoy himself, maybe. So we place down the koala bear. The koala bear's now there mixed in with the actual bushes. So there you go. Now I then click on the edit button again. Click on the active picture press the copy button, copy that over to this one here, and then say yes. Click on the same picture again to activate it, edit it. You'll see the koala is now stuck in the machine. I click on the machine again, press the button to put that back into storage, <coughs> and then store the item. Then I come back over into storage again, and what I can then do slide on down with the machine and bring the machine. 
Now, what I can do is kind of extend it and extend it and extend it and make it modify and keep adding pieces to it. So, it's easy. So, what do you mean 10 times slower? I can't get any slower than this. Actually, I probably could, actually. I just made a mistake now as well. Oh, dear. All right, now, because I made the mistake, I've got to click on it. You'll see it's now red. Click on something else. Click on it again. Now it goes back to green. It's activated. So, slide that one out. Put that back into storage. Bring that one back out. <laughs> Plus, the accent is exotic. <laughs> Are you stealing my viewers, young lady? Right, click on the X. So, let's do it in slow motion. Right. So, do, 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 do. What can we do? Maybe we can stick something else down into that one. So let's find an outdoor tree. Maybe you want the eucalyptus tree blended in there. No, oh, I can't do that one. It's red, so I've made a mistake somewhere. No worries. All right, let's go back and start this again. But slower for the slow part of the audience. Right. So, Greg, does that help? Does that help with decorating and blending and glitching it together? And if I wanted to, what I can now do is just take the machine away. Okay, it's still glitched in. Yeah, move that out of the way as an example. And then I can bring a nice tree down in. Stick a tree into there, press that. And we've now got a tree uh, with a beautiful koala bear and some fruit pieces down there. How's that? There we go. How's that one? That looks cool as well, doesn't it? I like that one. Mm hmm So, what do you think? Right, now, I need to do that giveaway, don't I? So, we go accept the burger, get out of the way for the moment. We've got prizes to do. I still need to give away... Yeah. Greg, no problems. It's actually good fun. It takes a bit of time. Once you get used to it, it's pretty easy. Some pieces just for some reason don't like to glitch for me. I always have issues with uh, the cow shed. That one doesn't seem to like doing it for me. Um, I've used these pieces in the past to do the glitching, but uh, they're a long way down in the deco, which is why I think the deco needs resorting to make it easy. It is a lot of work, it is, but if you glitch very nicely, koalas are not a bear, Ricky. Really? It's not a bear? It looks like a cuddly bear to me. So it says down there, okay, where is it? Koala. Yeah, it says a teddy bear. Teddy, it looks like a bear to me. It looks good. Does it disappear after collecting the fruit tree? Okay, all right. Now, if I go and harvest the fruit tree, now this is great. This is where you need another design. So what you need to do is to have that other design uh, that is not glitched, uh, where the pieces are not together, so you can actually harvest and collect. So you need a glitched design and you need a non-glitched design. Uh, if you have a non-glitch design, uh, then basically you've got the ability to find the trees and the bushes and things very easily. However, if you chop them down from the one picture, they disappear from the other one. Um, so there is that factor as well. And then it means you've got to re-add them to your design, which is not really that much of a problem. So... Yeah, the koala's cute. I think so too. And he does look nice there, doesn't he? I have to make a little garden, I think, down there. I might put some more trees and other bits in the area and make it look a little bit more uh, beautiful and interesting. So maybe some more glitching down there in a moment. Yes, 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 yes. I think that'd be a nice centerpiece. 
Okay, we got a pet to give away. Gold coins and voucher packs from the last thing, because I couldn't do last week. Apologies for that. Um, things do happen which are not always in my control. So, uh, do, 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 do. Alright, because it is Valentine's related. Mm, let's keep it nice and simple. Yeah. Okay, I've got a good one for you. Right, here is your question, everybody. Uh, so, what kind of uh, teddy should I give my darling on Valentine's Day? There you go. What kind of teddy should I give my darling on Valentine's Day? Type your answer into the chat. And then basically, uh, one of you will be selected for a winner along with other people as well. So that'd be good. Yes. What kind of teddy should I give? Mm. That's going to be interesting to find out the answers on this case. Please wait. All right, now we need these wall pieces, which I wanted. Where are they? The other decoration. I wanted the veranda. Uh, oh, this is a different color veranda. No, it's not the same. Oh my god. They're not the same color. They are different. No, I thought they would be the same blast. Oh well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, before I do any buying and shopping, let's place that one over on there. Yes, okay. And there we go. Uh, is it for coins? Yeah. I'm going to do a mix on that one because i got a lot to do to catch up on. So I'm going to do voucher packs and voucher packs. Yeah, voucher packs on this one. Voucher packs. I'll do voucher packs on this one. So four winners I need. Four winners. Nice and easy. Yes, indeed. And this one is the Outback event as well. So... Right, a red teddy, Valentine's teddy bear. Scott says hello all. Koala says Greg, Ricky teddy. Fuzzy, hairy bear, Ricky. It's for coins, Valentine's Day teddy. Mm. Some interesting answers coming up in my chat. But the question is, how many of you are right and how many of you are wrong? Hmm. Did you choose the right answers, I wonder, or did you make mistakes with your choices? Interesting. Oh well, right, let's just take these back away for the moment. I need to copy this blank design over, so... Da -da 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 -da. Get rid of all of these. Maybe I should just start from scratch anyway, take everything out and just completely redo it. It might be easier for me. Do you know what? I think I will do that one. So, set as main. 
Uh, edit the layout, and everything is now gone. Oh no, that was a mistake. Oh well, it happens sometimes. You've got to do it. And let's just bring the machines back out. Just place them down for the moment. Anywhere, doesn't matter. This is the annoying part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe I should blend all my machines together. That would be good. Okay, let's just bring these out as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, let's just place you out for the moment. Doesn't matter where you go. Stick you down there, stupid sign. There we go. And bring the counter down there too. Bring the machine down there as well. Bring that down there as well. Okay, now we can start placing machines out. Just put everything down for the moment. There we go. Nice and easy. <laughs> I got rocks in the way, not good. Right, next set of machines. Okay, do those ones too. Cow shed, bring that down to there for the moment. Pig pen over there too for the moment. Keep my bees in there as well. And then do my trees. Let's just place everything down. Okay, two small, big ones next. Three, four, okay, big ones next. Okay, it's big ones next. And then small ones, no, big ones next too. Okay, now we can do the small ones. Nope, go back. And I need tea bushes, okay. All right, you should buy the Costco Teddy for Valentine's, right? I think we've got enough answers, so let's spin. So, I think buying a Teddy is good. But do we have the right amount of winners down here? We do. So, the answer I chose was Teddy Bear. So, Sweet Peas obviously gets one. Her name has been selected. So, Voucher Pack, there you go, my darling. Uh, winner number two is Cute Kitty. Unknown status, but the Cute Kitty on there. Congratulations as well. You get voucher packs. Winner number three is Rena. Unknown status as well. Is she subscribed to my channel? I don't know. And Abro. Unknown status as well. Is she subscribed or not? It doesn't say. <gasps> wow. But well done, everybody. The answer I chose was bear. So for the first prize of the stream. So congratulations to the winners. Nice, easy one for you. All right, so Sweet Peas, I've got Lillian's Cafe Whiskey Business. I can copy her details over. Uh, cute Kitty, I don't have. Uh, Rena's is Cat Detective Agency. Chill and be saucy. I've got those details still. 
Abril, let's see, go back to Year of the Tiger, Abril, 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 do I have her down there? Yes, yeah, she's April at Whiskey Business, level 87. I have her still, which is good. Uh, I was first, so can I have a baby bear? Yeah, what you can do is can have me instead, if you like, young lady. Uh, I can be the teddy bear for you. Right, cute kitty says her code and level is level 29, peace and happiness. Okay, well done. We just got the gold and the pet to do from last week. And then we're caught up to date on that one. So if you'd like, I can wear a gorgeous teddy outfit and then it'd be perfect for you. Right, set that one as active. I'm just going to copy that into there and it's now all gone. We start to redecorate now. So now we do all the tile pieces from the very back downwards, nice and easy. Yeah, horrible color. Very red in color indeed. Now, design-wise, what do I want to do? Got to think about this. That's better. Now we have a blank drawing board. I meant cute pet. Mm -hmm. It was voucher packs. Voucher packs on that one. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Hot chocolate, can we do that one? If I get the cocoa, yes, I can do that. We'll ask for help on that one. Come back over there, get that going as well. Nicely done. Right, what do we need? Strawberry sachet on that one. We need strawberries. There we go. Come back to the strawberry sachet. There we go. Perfect. We need a margarita pizza, so we need cheese on that one, which means making cheese. That's perfect too. Lovely. Uh, ice cream with skip. Okay, that one I can't do yet. That one I'm going to ignore. We're making cheese on that one. Caesar salad. We can do that one, I think. We need the uh, legs. There we go, we've got some legs on the go now. Perfect. Right, okay, I meant cute pet, says Barbara. You did. Are you telling false prizes to my contestants? <gasps> Bad girl. My team did very well with the last event for this one, so I wonder if we can succeed this time. We got first place, which was very nice indeed. So well done to my team members on that one. It was definitely a nice race as well, uh, but I could spend more time playing then as well because I uh, had better Wi-Fi. Now I'm kind of limited on my resources, so. but it's refreshed again, which is good. Mm -mm -mm. Uh. Okay, what else? Furniture, that's what I need to place down. Got to bring the tables down, otherwise I can't get the orders. No orders means no points. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. All right, now I've got these fencing, which I'm going to stick around the side. Now this time I'm going to step in from the side a little bit. I'm not going to go all the way up to the edge. So I want to make it a little bit different like so. And maybe coming from the edge a little bit more. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Now if I went with the homestead walls, could I do homestead walls up against the side? What does it look like? How does that look appearance-wise? That's actually not so bad. I like that appearance. So my corner's blocked off there. If I add in some windows to it now in different locations. Now at the moment I've got the singular pieces, but I wanted to go with these doubles, which is the bronze vouchers. So 
Let's try that one there for the moment and see how it blends with these wall pieces. Mm, doesn't go, does it? It clashes against the wood. So that's not nice. Mm. The color scheme doesn't match. Like, really? That's not good. That color scheme doesn't match up with what I want there. That's not pretty. No, don't like that. That top shading is too bright. It makes it look uh, a little strange. So, no, 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 no. Not happy with that. Not happy with that indeed. What's the doors look like? Let's have a check. Okay, doors as well. There's a double door down there. Place that one down as well. Uh, same situation. That roof piece is too bright. No, not good. Don't like that. I don't like that at all. Mm. Ah, da 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 da. Hmm. Decision, decision, decision. Do I do it or not do it? Okay, let's try windows in different locations. See how it matches if I start tweaking. So take that out of the way for the moment. I've got the single windows already anyway. So if I did one either side of the door for the moment to create a patio style effect. Let's put that one there, then maybe shift that down a little bit so it's a double, then a double. And then that's three and three, same situation there. Bring that into there, then a double again, and then the single and another set of doors maybe, or another double window. Or do we have better windows? <coughs> Mm, let's have a shifty. What have we got? Better walls, better windows. Mm -mm -mm. There's a triple there. Right. Who's an Aussie in the stream? So, have we got any Aussies in the stream today? If so, what would be the better colour windows? What do you think? So, any Australians in the stream? And if so, what's a better colour scheme for the windows? So, what would be nicer? Too dark, maybe? Sweet Peas. Sweet Peas is an Aussie. That's right. So, Sweet Peas, my darling. Uh, what windows would be best? So what windows would be best for this, considering what I have or don't have within my collection? So is the whiteness of this okay? Uh, or should I go with a much darker tone to it, I wonder? Uh, the tiki looks good. It has like a nice uh, dark match feel to it, and I kind of like the look of that one. But uh, the blue... So... What would be a better section? Are those windows okay for this? What do you think, my darling? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. All right, my double piece over there at the moment. There we go, nice entrance side. I want to go two again on that one. And then we need one, two, three on the other side before we come round. One, two, three. Then there's my homestead started. Okay. There we go. There's the edges. Hmm. So, do those windows look okay or not? They're costing me bronze vouchers, which is fine. 
But uh, the question is, do I keep them or not? Let's mix down the wall pieces. Now, those are the ones I bought. We need to continue around just to match up the right number before we do anything else. And my coins are going down again. Oh, my God. Have a look at my restaurant, says Sweet Peas. Okay. So she says, come and have a shifty at her place. So, are you inviting me to come to your home? That's nice, Sweet Peas. So, hmm. we need... So come and have a little look, see. So Sweet Peas is whiskey business. All right. When will you play Hey Day tomorrow and show off the new offers? I've already done that, Adam. We had a live stream uh, yesterday where I did an exclusive reveal uh, earlier in the stream, which was fun to do. Then again, later during the live stream, I showed them off as well. Um for the actual deco, I did a video on it yesterday, which is up on my channel, um, on my other channel, which is the Heyday one, uh, which has all of the new decoration and some beautiful photos from Japan uh, and some wonderful information about uh, the Sakura and the Hanami uh, and the differences between them as well. So it's already on my channel. It's already there. Mm, it was great fun. So um, I did that yesterday. Um, and I brought up like a blank screen and said, right, everybody, this is the update. What do you think it's going to be? So you're looking at this gorgeous view here. People were saying, oh, the night mode and things like that. It was good. Ah, getting in and showing them in game. Ah. I haven't had a chance to do that yesterday. They only came in yesterday, so I haven't actually done it yet. So I will probably have to make a video on that later today, time permitting. Um, I've got to do some things later anyway. I've got work as well today, but um, I'll get them done as soon as I can. But uh, yeah, so. Whiskey business and down here. Let's have a look. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Lillian's Cafe. Mm -hmm. Okay, you've gone with the high wall pieces on yours. Okay, I see what you've done. Hmm. You've gone with the kangaroo walls. You've actually not bought any of the outhouse and the wall pieces at all, have you? You've not used doors. Okay, oh, you got the windows over there, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I see what you've done there. You've hidden the machines behind the white windows. And then you've used some of the other ones there with the shutters and the flower pots as well. Okay. I see what you've done there. You bought it. Look at that. There's a hairy lady uh, selling ice cream. So, uh, does that mean that Food Street's gone woke? We've got hairy ladies. Ah, uh, no, Adam, not whiskey. This is uh, barley tea. Um, I like uh, the Japanese tea mugicha, uh, and it's very, very refreshing in many ways. Uh, and I often drink it. I go through at least two bottles a day sometimes, uh, maybe just one bottle, and I find it very delicious indeed. So, barley tea, uh, or mugicha, as we call it here in Japan. very refreshing in some ways it's not that dissimilar to English tea as well I like it a lot mm -hmm. Mm 
Yes. That's what I thought too, a hairy lady. It is, it's a hairy lady. So, it's a hairy lady. Mm -hmm. With those arms and the, the, the nail varnish on the fingers as well. Uh, it's a hairy lady. So, Aussie chicks. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, Aussie chicks. So, that's the question we need to answer. So, sweet peas. Uh, are Australian ladies partial to facial hair? So, does it grow? And if so, how's your beard? Yeah. And I wonder if Peter knows. So, I wonder if he's aware that uh, Aussie ladies have beards. Yeah. Okay, please. Four days, ten hours, and eleven minutes. So, eleven minutes to go. Someone's jumping the gun, but it's okay. I'm not too stressful at the moment. Yes, yes. Well, I like it smooth. I like my lady smooth too. Uh, I don't mind if they got hairy armpits or there's hair in other locations. Uh, butt crack hair, I don't like. Sorry, that has to be plucked out. That's no good. Uh, and back hair on the lady, that's no good either. So I, I like the smoothness for uh, the tactile experience. I don't mind... Uh, a little bit of hair on the arms, not a problem there. Uh, hairs coming from around the nipples on ladies, no, that's a big turn off. No, 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 no. But hairy armpits, hairy in certain other locations, like down there, okay. Uh, long hair, bald head, no problems. Hairy faces, mm, personally, I'm not so keen. Uh, but then again. I'm willing to try something a little different sometimes. So, but I do like some move too. Yeah, I must admit. <coughs> it looks like the topic could go off in a very interesting direction, maybe. <laughs> okay, we got the basic pattern down there. Now the question is, do I keep going with the fencing on this? Yeah, or do I bring these pieces? Now, I'm actually tempted not to put these on the outside, but have them on the inside. Yeah, and I wonder how that would look as well. That could be kind of cool for design-wise, maybe. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Or if I had them on the other side, uh, I could create a kind of like a sloped roof effect, which could be cool as well. So, hmm. Maybe on the outside, at the back, as a sloped roof effect. That could be interesting. In fact, that makes it more interesting, I think. Right, smooth like a baby's butt. I'm back. Oh, hello. Not keen on rashes. Yeah. Mm. We're talking about hair today, Kim. So, yes, hair came up in the context because uh, the character in the game looks like a lady but has a hairy face. So it was very unusual to see. Oh man, I've got to place each one of these down individually. Uh, why can't I do it multiples? Okay, and there's a glitching option down there. So we need to bring two more of those in. All right, Greg, this is the one you might want to do for the glitching if you get the chance. You see this piece here in the corner at the moment. Uh, I've got a problem where uh, it acts, if I place one down there, I can't bring it around so it looks awful. So it's a perfect glitching opportunity where you can actually glitch those pieces in together and it looks so much better. So let me show you on that one as well because it will make it much more comfortable for when it comes to things like this. 
do, 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 do. There we go. Place that one down there for the moment. Uh, body hair, but where? Body hair everywhere. Well, we don't want body hair everywhere. Like I said, uh, between the butts, not a good place. Yeah, under the armpits is okay. I don't mind that on a lady. Um, legs and arms, a little bit is okay. Uh, on the face and the neck, sorry, no, that's a big turn off for me. No, 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 not so keen on that one. Right, copy that one over into there. In fact, let me do it slowly because I've been told I'm too fast. Okay, that's what waxing is for. Ooh, no. I can't do waxing. Sorry, uh, that's a big no-no for me. Like I've got a hairy chest, uh, so I've seen the videos and no. Okay, absolutely no. Okay, there is not enough money in the world to even make me lay down on the bed, have a beautiful lady paste this kind of like concoction over my chest and then rip the damn thing off. I would be screaming blue murder as well, just like the, the movie I watched. Like, no way, Jose. Like, uh, seriously, that's a big no-no. Uh, yes. No, 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 no. Who and waxing your nether regions. It doesn't hurt, says head. Yeah, yeah, like hell. <laughs> uh, doesn't hurt. Ripping your hair out of your body doesn't hurt. I don't believe you. Uh, sorry, no, Hesimacuti. -E You've either got no, pe your pain threshold is very high, uh, or no. No, 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 no. No, like even waxing down there, like uh, imagine pasting that warm liquid. Oh, it could be kind of interesting. I mean, the feeling could be nice, uh, but the feeling would be replaced by like, oh my God, I've just been deballed. Uh, no, we get used to it. <laughs> you can get used to many things, but um, only if you start. No, not going to happen. Yes, not going to happen. Could be an interesting YouTube video, though. That could be definitely a thing. Yes. I know, Greg. That's the video I'm thinking of, like uh, with a 40-year-old virgin. Uh, and the lady so loved it. Right, Val said, hey guys, I'm locked out of the game. You are, Val. What did you do wrong? Now, first of all, Val, have you updated the game? Um, that will probably resolve any possible potential problems. But what do you mean by locked out of the game? So, have you been banned? Oh, no. Men have a lower... Yeah, we, it's true, we do have a lower level of pain threshold. But then again, we have man flu. Uh, so, like, ladies have giving birth, which is very painful. Uh, and waxing, which is very painful. But we have man flu, which is more serious. Okay, like, if a guy gets man flu, they're down for the count. Um, but, yes... Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Sweet Pea said, I'd watch the video. <laughs> no. My brother, make your channel adult only because I'm 16. I can hear that talk. Okay. Adam, my channel is 18. Uh, my channel is an adult channel. So, yes. Um, if you're 16 years old and listening to this, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid that the topics on this channel can be very, very uh, interesting. So please be aware of that. But if you're 16 years old, please be aware that this all my channels are adult channels. Uh, they're not kids' channels. Uh, so yes. But at 16 years old, you need to learn a lot here. There's a lot of ladies in the stream. They can teach you many things about the way of the world. Uh, please take notice. <laughs> uh, uh, Adam, don't. 
do waxing. No, don't, 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 don't. Guys, don't do it. You know, like, let the women suffer. They can do it. So women can get waxing for our pleasure. Okay, but guys, <laughs> no, 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 no. Not going to happen. Not going to happen indeed. Right. Now, let's do this editing. I'm going to do this as an editing. So we're going to click down on the paintbrush at the bottom. And we click on the paintbrush, which brings up the edit mode. I click the edit mode icon, and I have three tabs down here. So we click on the one that says active, which has got my design. I press the copy button, and it highlights the next two. I go to the furthest one so I don't make mistakes. And then I then press that, and I press yes. Now we can start editing. Uh, yes, I am. Notepad out. Seriously, yep, you need a notepad with this lady. So, yes, indeed. Uh, thank God I'm a Muslim. <laughs> uh, but I, I've seen Muslim men, uh, especially like uh, in, in the hairdressers, they do that black waxing on the face and then their nose hairs and eyebrows. Uh, and I've laughed so much watching those shows. Uh, like the guy waxes, puts his black waxing on his face uh, just to rip out those loose hairs and on his nose as well. And then they pull it out and it's like so funny like you guys are balmy as well uh, i know you like the smooth faces down to the beards and whatever else but i'll stick with the shaving i really will to put that black concoction that then goes hard and then like uh, and then ripping it out like <laughs> moody zed die moody no way Especially the nose ones. Do you realize how much pain it is putting those hair out the nose just normally? But putting the wax up the nose with the little earplugs and then pulling it out. Like, holy shit, no thanks. That is not good. That is not good indeed. Nope, 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 nope. Not going to happen. Who? Big no. That is a big no indeed. Indeed, I would not even consider doing that. No. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so here's a question for everybody. Uh, how many of you have actually waxed? So, ladies, who has waxed before? Who has waxed before? Pulling all those nose hairs at once. Is, it is, Greg. It is so funny to watch. Uh, I watched one guy uh, who was getting it done and he was screaming in such a high voice. And I was thinking... <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't thinking. I was just laughing. It was hilarious. It really was. It was so funny. <clears throat> Yep, not something I would definitely do. Okay, uh, right, you better hide uh, from your wife after this stream. Uh, my wife, my girlfriend, my mistress, my lover, my many darlings, um, they don't watch me, so I'm safe here. Hesme Cutie said, I've waxed. Apple says, I've done it. Cute Kitty says, not yet. Uh, Sweet Pea says, well, duh. Uh, Barbara says, has waxed what? Oh, okay, she wants to know specifically. Ricky, live stream, nose waxing, never. Barbara says, never have I waxed. Barbara says, yes. Uh, Kim says, you have anywhere uh, Tully said I'm pretty hairless in most places uh, Kim says I don't want to wax nor do I want to okay I need photos we've got to see them so ladies if you've waxed send me some photos <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what anyone thinks about my body hair, says Cute Kitty. I don't mind body hair. I really don't. I really don't. It's not much of an issue for me. So copy that one into there. <coughs> but I need photos. Yep. Hair said 100% myself. Okay. Yeah.
Abel says, I can't show you that picture. It's okay. I can use it for my OnlyFans account. Mm, so, not a problem. Don't don't worry. I'll keep it to myself. Might be a little X-rated. No problems. No problems. Uh, send him photos of a nose. <laughs> I say, but the places I can't remove or don't want to remove any other way, I just trim it to tame it. Hmm. Yes. Now the conversations are going in an interesting direction. There we go. I think I've just messed that up, didn't I? Oh, crap. What did I do wrong? No, oh, I thought I did that right. Uh, yes, I did do that wrong, didn't I? It's not going to work that way. Damn it. It's an inside one, not an outside one. So I wanted to have it so it goes like this, but it won't do it. Bugger. No. That won't let me do that. That's a shame. If I came off in that direction, then it would work. Like that one. <coughs> ah, damn. No. That's not going to work the way I want it to. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Tarnation. Mm, but then again, I wonder if I can do something to make it more interesting. Could I possibly... Ooh, like a chimney stack maybe. That could be good. Hmm, that might work. Okay, let's come back to the main one for the moment. Get rid of that deco piece. Have a look. Ah, uh, sending photos. No, I say, but please, I tell you, I would be X-rated photo for a few. No problems. Uh, I will live Ricky exposing our wax noses. Uh, GG only fans is Harry and God said not to look at the girls unless she is your wife. Uh, I don't look at any other ladies. Don't worry, uh, Adam. So no, 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 no. I don't look at any other ladies. No, 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 no. I'm definitely a good one. I've sent you a pitch. Oh, my God. I shave, but I don't do the waxing thing, to be honest with you. Ricky, no problems. Yeah, I shaved, too. I did my lip yesterday. So, just did around here. I'm going with, like, a, just the, the hairstyle and nothing here at the moment. It's easier for breathing with the masks. Uh, all of this started because Face Food Street placed a hairy lady in ice cream tray. I know! Yeah, cute kitty said, you listen to your mother, Adam. She knows the best. Yes, yes. <coughs> yeah, we got to blame Food Street for this. Yes. No, I have set up a fans only page, but I want to use it to upload my voice for recordings and things like that. Because yeah, people want to use my voice for sleeping. So I thought it'd be fun, but I'm having issues with it at the moment. So it's kind of privated and not visible. But uh, we'll do, I'll finish it and sort it out when I get the time. <coughs> Okay, let's bring the wool pieces back down. I want to try something now. Let's have a look. Mm-hmm. Okay, that could be okay. 
Uh, we got a slopiness of the wall there coming up. Didn't do exactly the way I wanted, but not a problem. Now, if I keep coming around with those wall pieces, because I want more of those outdoor wall ones. Where are they? Indoor. No. Where are they? They want the verandas. So, keep coming around. Oh, 900 coins going to be expensive, this. <coughs> but it's what I want. There we go on that side and that side as well. And I need to do another giveaway. So let's do another giveaway on this one. What are we going to choose? Uh, since it's still from the Valentine's event. Ah, I know. Nice easy one for you on this one. There you go, everybody. A nice, easy question for you. So when giving flowers, should they be odd or even? Whoever gets this one right, by the way, I will give you a pet. So this is from the last theme. Uh, whoever gets this one right gets a pet. So odd or even, which is your choice? So when giving flowers, should they be odd or even? Which is the correct answer? Choose only one. Do 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 Right, okay. Everyone's saying even odd, even, 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 even odd, even, even, even odd. Interesting choices down there. Uh, Barbara's hedging her bets with both odd and even. Mm -hmm. Both because she will be your future wife. Uh, Adam, actually, that's not correct. You're going to learn something very interesting today. Um, so. I think you're going to be very surprised at the information you get. Depends on the country. Barbara, actually, no. Uh, there's one way for flowers that should only ever be used. So, yes. I'm going to enjoy this. Do <laughs> 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 Level 77 Foodie and Wino said JC Scott. Hello, JC Scott. Welcome to the chat. Okay. Uh, it's odd. Odd, 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 both. Okay. I know, right? Uh, Abril says Barbara. Hmm. Okay, right. Let's go spin it. I think we've got enough people down there with the answer. So let's spin. Good luck, everybody. There can be only one winner, of course. And oh, lots of choices down there. Let's make sure everybody has got their answer selected because it's for a big prize. So she's eligible. She's eligible, good. She's eligible, good. Yeah, she's eligible, yeah. yeah. 
she's eligible good she's eligible good make sure all the names are clicked she's up there good okay Greg's up there okay Kim's up there. Yeah, uh, Barbara's up there. Good. Now, Abel says just type both. No, I said choose one answer. So if you type both answers, I'm removing you. <gasps> oh no. There can be only one choice. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. There can be only one answer, and the winner is Scott Shelby. <coughs> there you go, Scott. You have just won a pet from the last stream. So, what animal would you like from the Valentine's one from last time? Right, the answer's odd, by the way. Um, you should never use even flowers in a bouquet or with flowers because it doesn't match up. Like, if you put two flowers together, it's very strange. If you put a third one down there, you end up with a nice bouquet. If you have, like, uh, four flowers down there, uh, again, you should put one there to make it odd. So it blends and it matches together for the bouquet. You should never give even numbers of flowers. Like, you never give two roses. You only give the one rose. Or you can give three roses together is okay. Or you can give five or seven or nine. Um, you never give even numbers. <coughs> So, odd is the answer. Don't worry, I didn't take out your answer if you part odd. Not 13. They usually say don't do 13, but yes. Then why sell a dozen red roses? Uh, because they're bad flower shops. Yeah, bad flower shops. So, yes, 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 yes. You should always be odd. Should never be even. So, 11 or 13. 12 roses is wrong. Shouldn't do it. It's wrong. So, please go tell your florists that they're not professional. They should, They are selling uh, flowers incorrectly. So, they should be odd numbers. Never even... And if they disagree, you can ask them to come and talk to me and I'll explain it to them again. Right. <coughs> mm, they know nothing. They don't. Yeah, I know the deal bad times always doesn't, but it's commercialized and it's wrong. Ricky, go check out the picture. Oh my God. Right, now, while he's choosing which animal he wants, I'm going to go and look at the picture that's been sent to me. This could be interesting. Right, check the photo. <coughs> <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Barbara says I've never been given. Really, Barbara? Oh my God, that's not good. Wow. I have. <laughs> <laughs> Abril just sent me a shaved photo Ha! <coughs> oh, oh my god Abril it's so wrinkly 
Wow. <clears throat> oh. I like wow. <clears throat> She sent me a photo of her shaved pussy <laughs> cat. <laughs> funny, funny. <laughs> oh my god. Hilarious. So everybody, when her husband looks at her, this is what he sees. So a shriveled, hairless body. So this is a uh, apple for you, everybody. <coughs> a shaved, wrinkled body. <laughs> Oh my god, no, 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 no. Uh, wow. <coughs> he zoomed in very well. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I can imagine hubby coming out. So she says to husband, darling, how was your day? He looks and said, put your clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> Cover that up. <laughs> I can imagine you all now, after you get your waxing done, you have this like hairless wrinkled body. Oh my God. God, oh my God, oh my God. Um, we tend to have a lot of fun on the stream, so, uh, yes. <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. <clears throat> When she looks like when she comes back from the salon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe she gets a wax and then she gets in the bath to relax but spends too much time in there. Uh, because she's now in the bath and she's shaved, uh, it all becomes wrinkly and shriveled up and looks like that. So now we know. For the pet, can I do the White Wolf Ricky, level 51 now? Yes, you can. So let's go do the White Wolf. Okay. White Wolf. Okay. And you're now level 51. Good. I go to sleep. See you tomorrow. Adam, no problem. See you tomorrow. And uh, welcome to the more interesting conversations that we have. Hopefully we haven't corrupted you too much. Uh, please come back again for more corruption next time. Uh, <laughs> good night, good night, good night, good night. Uh, cute kitty says, don't let your imagination run wild. Hey, I'm not the one with the wrinkly pussy. Uh, cat. Uh, so, yes. My imagination's fine. So, yes. It's uh, you lot with the wrinkly bits. <coughs> mm. Kim said she sat in a bath of water that was too hot and all the hair fell off and that made her skin mad wrinkly. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Tully, you got a good deal on a Brazilian girl. Yes. <clears throat> okay, guys, sleeping time here. Good night, says Barbara. Barbara's running away as well. No, you can't go. The conversation's just starting to get diverse. So, no, 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 no. Don't do that. <coughs> We need more information. <clears throat> more information, yes indeed. Okay, am I happy with that? <clears throat> don't know, don't know yet. We'll see. I want to change the grass pieces as well though, so let's have a look. If I make that more dirt based instead, but a brown dirt, that might look nicer. But then again, there's that <coughs> horrible red colour as well. <coughs> or should I stick with the red? Mm, decisions, decisions, decisions. Maybe I should lose the fencing from the outside as well, though. Actually, now I'm going to take the fencing away. I'm not keen on it. It doesn't look the way I want it to. <coughs> Hide that for the moment. Let's use nature instead. <coughs> Right, okay, what do we got down here? It's just getting interesting. I should send Ricky pictures of my cat, of the cat I like, April. Mm. You could do. Considering the topic was waxing, uh, very interesting to see that picture indeed. So, not that I'm surprised. No, that's what I was expecting. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> I can imagine her going into the salon now and saying, oh, it looks like a gorilla down there. I want it to look like a sphinx when I come out. So get to work, girls. Wax me. Yeah. And then they have a look and they go like, oh, my God. God, clear my uh, agenda, my schedule for the rest of the day. This is going to be a lot of work. Yes, indeed. I can imagine it now. <coughs> Why, Rana, is your shave too? Outdoor decorations. I've uh, got 10 in inventory. <coughs> Da <coughs> 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 Uh, give me a hairless kitty option. So no tally it isn't. Okay, it takes about now maybe one and a half, one and a half hours. Ooh, that's a lot of time to be in agony. No, thank you. <clears throat> no, thank you indeed. That's a big no no for me. I love you guys to bits, but that's like, nah, not going to happen. Not going to happen. Nope, 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 no. <coughs> However, if I did ever decide to get a wax, I'm absolutely videotaping it. And I would enjoy sharing it with the world. Okay, my actual place is coming along nicely. Now we need to think about decorating the inside. 
we got no indoor decoration at all for this theme. Like, really? <coughs> How can we not have anything on the inside? Maybe some ceiling fans would be good. Kind of like that option there. So if I stick one of those there for a the moment, and the other one there. <coughs> It only takes about a uh, hair's all to do what I walk in salon and lady at desk asks, do you have an appointment? And I say, yes, uh, I do for the hairless kitty. I can't imagine actually booking it like that. Oh, you've got to. Kim, you have to. You have to. You have to. Yeah. Oh, I would love to be the person taking that reservation. Uh, I'd like to wax my kitty, please. <laughs> <laughs> I would be dying. I really would. <coughs> oh, sometimes a job is just so funny. Yes. Brilliant. Ricky, can you check Facebook Messenger when you can? Okay, let's go have a look. Have I been sent another picture that is uh, worrisome, I wonder? <coughs> Let's have a look. Wow, Rena, that's a hairy one. Uh, that's going to take some waxing indeed. So... Mm, that's a hairy one. Okay, that's what uh, she's just sent me. So, Ren has just sent me a hairy one, everybody. Yeah, two tones. So, two tone colors on this one. Yeah, that's going to take some waxing indeed, my darling. Uh, yes, indeed. That's a very hairy one indeed. <coughs> yep, 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 yep. Yes, 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 yes. Very cute, though. And as we zoom out a little bit, okay, you can see everything. Look at that. Bit blurry on the image. Sorry on that one. So, this is the one that she likes. This is her pussy that she likes. Very nice. Cutie pie. She bleaches. She does, yes. So, bleaches under the neck there. Very pretty indeed. I like that one. Cute cat. And a fat one too. <laughs> Fat's good. Slim's good. All are good. I like cats. I do. I have a big fondness for cats. I really do like them. <clears throat> That'd be a screamer. If you had to, yeah, I can imagine it now, couldn't you, Greg? So come on, cat, we're going to the vets and you're going to get wags. Yeah, there would be a lot of fighting with that one. There really would. <coughs> a lot of fighting on that one and scratching and clawing. So. Oh, it would be so funny. It really would. Right, we've got some nice couches in here. Do you know what? I might actually stick that one inside. Put that one off to the side there for the moment. And a little bit of a small bit there. It's... <coughs> Mm -hmm. That would be one angry pussycat. It really would. A lot of his. Yeah, I could imagine it now. Oh, that would be fun. It really would. <coughs> yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<coughs> Where are those couches from? I can't remember now. I'm sorry. I can't remember now. But they are cute. I do like them. And there's another bookcase down there, which is good. <coughs> Uh, whale carving. Should I do it inside my place? Yeah, why not? <coughs> I just cried my mech off from laughing way too hard. <laughs> uh, yeah. I want to make my, uh, like, outback place more like a ranger's place. Yes, yeah, so I'm just thinking now how to have it on the inside. <laughs> oh, I can imagine the hissing. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Meow, <laughs> meow, meow. <coughs> yep, yeah, cruel owners, you cruel owners, you. Yeah. How could you do it like that? Poor little pussy cats. Uh, that's how I go. It hurts so bad. See, and you guys were saying earlier that it doesn't hurt. We don't believe you anymore. We don't. No, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It's not painful. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, Peter's not been so... Not He's not here, is he? He's going to be sad indeed. Yes. He would have loved the conversation. Yes, 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 yes. That's a shame we missed it. <coughs> uh. Oh, that is so funny, though. That really is. Should I put my tables on the inside? I should, shouldn't I? Actually... One there. Actually, put those back into storage for the moment, then bring them out. Okay. <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, I knew there was something off. Okay, where's Peter? Peter didn't be so bad. Yes. What other recognition is this going? I wonder. Rosemary, hello. Rosemary, you've missed a lot of cool conversations. Star, my darling. Hello as well. <coughs> I will do so. Hello and welcome. Yes, welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> <coughs> right, we've got the brown rattan as well, which is a nice one. <clears throat> and another brown one there as well. Actually make that doubled up like so. <coughs> mm. 
do 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 Yes, 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 that'll be good. Alright. <coughs> My people need some nice food inside. So, a little bit of a eating area there as well. Some cheeses down there. some condiment tables uh, another condiment table there as well and maybe 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 the wine rack on the center because a little bit of wine in there as well <coughs> yep take that out do, 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 do. Maybe I've got another brown table I can stick in there later. Turn that sideways is better. Turn that sideways is better, maybe. Okay, bring that down one. Bring that more into the center together. That's better. <coughs> mm. Right, today is my dad's fourth birthday in heaven and I'm having a really tough day. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Rosemary. Ah, welcome to the stream. It's been very naughty today. We've been talking about waxing. It's the, this lot's fault. So, yes. <coughs> um, mm. Hubby will be home from his work soon. Why haven't I done the dishes? Because I was getting an online waxing. That's what you could tell him. Mm. That could work very nicely for you. Hmm. Kim, but star, hello. Hiya. Yes, never gets easy losing someone, does it? So it never does. No matter what direction life continues, it still has that sad feeling. <clears throat> Do 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 bum bum bum. Actually, let me try something here. If I put that up against the back there, like so, and then the back there, like so, then the back there, like so. Hmm. And then maybe. What's in the way there? Ah, that's why right. it's the fan that's in the way there. So maybe I change the location. Then I can bring it back down and block that off as a nice entrance point as well. It could work for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A bit of a private dining area around the back, maybe. Mm -hmm. But we've still got one table stuck out in the open then, which is not so good, is it? Unless, of course, I change the pieces around slightly. Put that back in the corner and move that one over to there out of the way. So we've got some people who are enjoying themselves. And then maybe. Hmm. Okay, another bookshelf. Let's have a look. I like the bookshelf, so I don't mind buying extra anyway. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, that works for me. Yes, 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 yes. Right, okay, uh, Renner Apple, you'd like one? It's my best one. Come and check it out. I need to get one. Thanks, everybody. Danny, I just gave myself a cardboard cutout of an open box. You did? Why did you do that? Okay, right, let's go do the next one. So you gave yourself a paper cut. Ooh, 
that's not good yes um, please do be careful All right gold coins I need three winners so let's cancel that one remove that one and reset eligibility for everybody and we type in the word <coughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, should I do it? Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to do this. Yes, indeed. Here we go, everybody. Since the topic has been very diverse and interesting, what kind of haircut should you get for Valentine's? This one's for gold coins. We've got three winners. So tell me what has been the haircut topic today. Hmm. Uh, it's not a big one, but it does hurt. Mm. Yeah, I don't like paper cuts. I really don't. I don't like paper cuts at all. Cardboard cuts are not nice either. Um. And they never, it's like always that surface layer, like ew, gold coins, Ren. It's a thousand gold coins, three people. <coughs> okay, so what kind, my question was a nine, what kind of heck up should you get for Valentine's Day? We've got smooth. We got Brazilian smooth, waxing, bald, trim smooth, wax smooth, shaved, wax shaved. Wow, interesting options we've got down here for haircuts, taming the bush. <laughs> that must be an Australian way of describing the situation. Let's have a look. We're still looking at um, items down here. <coughs> you got a kangaroo pet, which is nice. I should add one of those in, I guess, somewhere. But where to put it, I wonder. We'll stick it there for the moment. That would be an ideal pet for later. How about items that would be good for this theme? Let's have a shifty. What else would be nice? No, 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 no. Nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing at all down there that I've got. Actually, a barbecue could be nice. The charcoal grill for a barbie could be interesting. Maybe for my inside, I need a table and chair set up because it's a relaxation area as well. What have I got? <coughs> there we go. Cozy corny sofa. Another one down there. Mm -hmm. Table tea set could be useful if I crammed that one in there somewhere. No. What else? What else? What else? What else? <coughs> Actually, if I stick that in there, take that one out away, put that there, put that one there as an example, then bring that on the inside like so. No, it's too big. How many does it need? Six, really? Why do you need six pieces? Oh, God. Let's 
have a look. It doesn't look balanced now, that's the only problem. Uh, no, it's not going to work. Not going to work for me. Right, what do we got? We're taking male or female. Well, your choice, sweet peas. Uh, it's Valentine, so what's more important? Uh, should I get a haircut or should you get a haircut? That is the question. Uh, I've got two people with the right answers at the moment, but I'm going to add a third one in there because, yes. What have we got down there? Let's have a look. So, okay. <clears throat> three people with the answers, that's all I need. Four people with the answers, three people, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Da -da -da -da. Man bun, really? I'm going to say a trim, okay, trim, has my cutie said Brazilian, yeah, make sure it's all down there, hmm, no, okay, right, let's do the first one, so we've got down there, has my cutie, she is one of the first ones that's got the gold coins, I'll give that to her, congratulations on that one. And then the next one down there is going to be Abro. She got it as well. She knows what she wants. And it's hairless. Yes, indeed. And the last one down there is Heather. Ah, so the ladies all got the right answers. Interesting. Now, I was going with wax there or Brazilian. Both would be good since that's what the topic was talking about today. So, there you go. you got three ladies who have won a thousand gold coins each. <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, Do you know what? I'm going to lose the bookshelves after all. No, I don't. I think an openness is fine. So bring that closer, maybe turn it around a little bit more for more privacy. Bring the table back over. Take away the condiments and the tables, we're going to lose those. No, nope. I'll make a separate area for it, I think. Yes, indeed. <coughs> mm hmm that's okay another one done perfect right I'll give it mine to Tully says has me cutie okay I will change that to Tully instead so Tully on this one Right, so Tully has won that one. So she's Whiskey Business Level 105. You've got a thousand gold coins donated to you. Not a problem. Abril down there is April Whiskey Business 87. It's a thousand gold coins. Nice and simple on that one. And Heather, do I have Heather down there? Have a rod left. Let's have a look. Mm, Heather, 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 Heather. Oh, you haven't won in a while, have you? Mm, Heather, I need your details, please. I can't see any information for you and my old ones that I've kept here. Happy chefs, okay, gotcha. Okay, Abril says I give mine to Sweet Peas. Okay, I will change that then. So Sweet Peas has won a thousand gold coins. Okay. Here we are. We've donated. 
So let me just confirm from the last two weeks from the Valentine's events, the Hearty Mills. The pet was won by Scott Shelby, a white wolf. Uh, interactive Defecation was a Cupid vendor by Tully. Uh, <clears throat> okay, right. Uh, okay, give it to Rosemary. Okay, so Rosemary is now getting it. Not a problem. Let's just type Rosemary's details in there. So change that one from Tully to Rosemary. <coughs> you messing up my information. Do I have Rosemary's details from previous events? Let's have a look. So Rosemary, what's your restaurant club and level, please? I need that information. So, uh, uh, interactive vacation with Cupid Vendor was Tully from Whiskey Business. Gold coins, Rosemary, Sweet Peas, and Heather. A thousand gold coins each. Uh, voucher pack, Sweet Peas, Coot Kitty, Rena, and Abril. And then the gem packs, 25 gems for Scott, Tully, Sweet Pea, Rena, and Yolanda. So please make sure that you do claim those. Right, now let's go down to Chill and Be Saucy. So, saucy. And we need this one and this one. So I just need uh, Rosemary's details. <coughs> Right, let's have a look. She's gone with the garden design. There we go. So some trees and pieces mixed in. There you go, Rena. That's very nice indeed. Some animals around the outside. Yeah. yeah, you've gone with some of the same pieces I've chosen as well. Yep, very cool. Very cool. Okay, cute kitty said my restaurant name is Ladybug. Okay, I've got to change these things, haven't I? Right, cute kitty says Ladybug. Okay, added that one in. Right, Rosemary said, Ricky, sorry, you can give them someone else. I'm not playing Food Street at the moment. Okay, I will change that one then. So, uh, if Rosemary's not taking the gold coins, has who, who else do you want to give it to? Who else do you want to give it to? Who's the next person on your list? Who would you like to try? What's this one? 50 gems. 50 gems. Any shop purchase above 100 gems. Go to shop. Okay. Mm. You get free 50 gems, really. That's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, got that one. So, Hez says, give it to Kim. So, Kim, 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 Kim. Who is Kim? Kim. That's right. Kim, Kim. Right, Kim, you've now got your new club details. So, I need your details in the chat, please. Right, so what is your new restaurant and club information, please, young lady? <laughs> All right, I want that billabong. I'm going to make sure I buy that before I forget about it and make a mistake. So we'll place that one down there for the moment. That's a definite must for me. And that looks good. It does. Mm. All right, other indoor decoration. <coughs> Let's slide on down. I need some tables as well. Right, pug treats level twenty eight crab. Okay, gotcha. Okay, I've added you in. 
All right. In that case, then, looks like next week I'll have to do both an interactive decoration and a pet in the same stream. So two chances to win because um, my schedule got mixed up because of my problems. But um, apologies for that. Right. <laughs> Maybe some wool pieces on the inside. Break it up a little bit for privacy, I wonder. What could we use? The high wooden one is nice. Mm, let's have a look. Yeah, I like that. <coughs> Bring the statue into the corner, turn it around. Can't see what it looks like. There we go. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That looks good for me for the moment. And I need to tweak that a little bit more, I think. Yes, indeed. <laughs> okay, I like that. What's this for again, says Kim. Kim, that is a thousand gold coins, my darling. So, and I will send that to Food Street later so you can all claim your prizes on that one as well. But next week I'll have to do the two items. And between now and then I will finish off my design. So, creating my uh, Ranger House restaurant with the vehicles in front. Okay, people moving in and out because it's busy, which is cool. Uh, if I feed the actual pieces I've got in there as well, that would create more people sitting down, especially with the furniture, moving them around. So definitely more active. <coughs> I like that. Maybe I'll create a nice little barbie area down here and use like the barbecue as an example. Uh, maybe have like a little prep area. Could be interesting. Mm, that could work for me. Yeah, if I move that over slightly, should I have the entrance there for my people to come into the restaurant or they have to come in the front way then? We need a kitchen area, don't we? So, if I bring that counter in and then hide it somewhere where it's not being seen or being used, uh, maybe like so, or off to the side. Like that, maybe. And shift that down one, shift that down one. Hmm, that could work. And then my restaurant staff are inside then, and it looks more active. Yes, I like that one. Right, everybody, for me, I'm going to have to say goodbye. I enjoyed the funny topic conversation again today. Yeah, I Hopefully, you will come back to me another time. Yeah, and we will see how it goes next time. I've got to think a little bit more about my design, as I know, uh, since there's a brand new theme and I've got a little bit more time. Congratulations on those who won. Please do in-game message the games company so you can claim your prize and good luck with the event. It looks like an interesting one, but not so easy. But either way, I will see you next time. Thank you very much and have a wonderful time yourself. Bye now.